everyone welcome back to another video my name is jared beckwith and in today's video i want to talk about day one of studying for the reegt board exam so day one didn't go as planned so i planned to get all this studying done to go through all these practice questions and it didn't work out like that so i was actually very fearful of this exam and by being so scared of the exam i didn't get any studying done and i just wasted my time I calculated I wasted a whole six hours on my off day where I could have been studying, but I wasn't. Now, all of this no studying, it gave me a good opportunity to reflect and be like, why did this happen? Why, when I have this exam coming up within the next five days, I didn't get any studying done on my day off? What is wrong with me? What was going on in my brain? That's what I was thinking about yesterday. I was like, oh, this is actually gives me a very good lesson on neuroanatomy. So your brain has this part called the amygdala, and when it detects a predator or something dangerous in your environment, it provokes this flight or fight response, and my brain automatically just said, oh, we're running away from this exam. This exam could eat us. Now, when humans were in the jungle, and it was thousands and thousands of years ago, and they seen a lion, you don't want to have to think too much. You just want to have that automatically be like, yes, run away. Don't even think about it. That's why it's good that it's kind of like an automatic response. But how do we overcome this automatic flight or fight response? Well, there's another part of your brain called the prefrontal cortex where you make all your rational decision making. It's probably like the most human part of your brain. It's what makes humans so smart, how we can rationalize and plan for the future. So the amygdala response, the fight or flight response, that's like automatic, you, you can't control that. But once you have that automatic response, you can take your prefrontal cortex, which does most of your reasoning, and you can think, is this threat an actual danger to my life? Is this tiger gonna eat me and I really have to run away? Or is this kind of like a fake threat? It's just a test, I'm not gonna die. I could always retake it might be a little humiliating if I fail. It's only $700. Well, yeah, only $700, right? I think that's why my brain's picking it up as a big threat. It's like, we cannot fail this test, Jared. And I just automatically just ran away from studying. Instead, I want to run towards studying because I only have a few days left. And at least I'm using this experience to learn about the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex and how, it, how they play together in making our fight or flight response and our rational decision making. Even though I didn't get any studying done on that day, I still used my experience, which is a total natural experience. I know if you've had like a big test coming up, you've known you'd have to study, but you might shy away from it. You might run away from it, make yourself comfortably numb, just playing video games or drinking alcohol or just doing something you know you shouldn't be doing, especially when it's coming up, but your your brain is like so scared that it has to do some of these things to like numb your fear response. But if you can use your prefrontal cortex, the most rational part of your mind to overcome that automatic response, then you can override it and start studying. So this is my re reminder to start studying. Hey, this is my quick little neuroanatomy lesson and I got it from real life, right guys? So I will be studying the next few days, even though I'm working 12 hours, I think I could at least get like an hour of studying at the end of the day and I'll try to record it here for you guys. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, uh, comment down below, what should I study? Uh, I've got just a few days left until my EEG exam. I'm excited and I'm no longer going to run away. I'm going to fight this exam and overcome this threat. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.